That's it, morning of the first cruise, 12th of February, about quarter to ten in the morning. We're going down to the cruise port now, it's only about a 20 minute drive from the Vibe Hotel, Singapore Orchard. And we've got check-in for 11 o'clock, which I think is the first one after the suites. Uh, we've got the key as well, which is that VIP perks program. We'll show you that as we go along through the cruise. We'll show you the um, advantage of the key. Around about twenty, twenty-five pound a day, but you get a few bits with it, and uh, we'll tell you about them. The first part is you get priority boarding, so you can get on the cruise ship in a separate lane, and we'll show you that very shortly. This is where you want to be to see that display. Yeah. Um, there's another like waterfront area. It might be in front of that actually. Yeah, right? it yeah, is. I mean. So when you get dropped off at Singapore, you'll be right next to this big blue sign, baggage check-in. So just uh, drop your bags off, make sure you've got your labels for your cabin cruise already on. Uh, if you don't have them with you, they do have extra ones they can stick on, you just write your cabin number on. I've dropped a luggage off, now I've got to try and find a way in. Key guess. We have the key. Key. Yeah. yeah, first advantage of the key then is you get priority boarding, so we're we'll board first and amongst the suites or just after the suites. Uh, Save for a bit of a queue. And just to remind people, when you come on board, because they've just taken people aside, one lady had an iron in a bag, so they've taken that out, and one lady had an extension cord. They've taken that out. You're not allowed to bring that on board with you. Try to smuggle it in. I tried a drone once. They took that off me. Right, that's it. We're all checked in. These are people checking in. <laughs> Biggest queue was at security, but if you've got the key you're going to get a priority queue. It's certainly worth doing. Okay. Morning, Gabby. Morning, Gabby. 11, 11 o'clock, huh? No problem, yeah. Okay, thank you. There we go, just a spot on 11 o'clock and we're starting to go through to board. I think we said something about immigration, so some people have to have visas to come here from some countries. That's it, we're through, through immigration, through security, through check-in. Didn't take too long, but I guess if you come a bit later, it's going to be busier. If you haven't got a key, it'll be busier. If you're lucky enough to be in a suite, uh, you get priority boarding as well. I could work that bit out. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yep, yeah, for the yeah. Get ready to go on board. Stand by. D2, we are. D. We're D. D and E, that way. Hello, thank you. Hello. Going with wifey. Yeah. It's the main dining room. I prefer that, I think. Some of the chips, they're like three little individual rooms. I like it where it's open. Hello. Morning. 
Oh, yeah. D2 we need. D2 is a uh, down or deck. Four. Can we go that way and down? Or? Uh, that side, sir. Yeah, we have a one staircase on this side. Oh, this way. Yeah. The location down the dining room. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's okay. Try holding it around. Yeah, that's it, yeah. yeah I need to walk. Is. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Right, does but we paid for it. Yeah, all of them. All of them. Tonight. Oh. I've got to say the way down to Thank you very much. The mushroom soup. Oh, so we're just in the main dining room for chops lunch with the key. Another benefit the key. First one was your priority boarding. Took us about 10 15 minutes to get on. It was so easy. And now we're having a chops grill lunch. Thank you. With a jumbo prawn. Thank you very much. Lovely, thank you. Thank you. Close up of your steak burger. There you go. Pam, do you get from borderline sauce or peppercorn sauce? Okay. And the same again. Same. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Chopped grill lunch with the key. Go for it. Just eat it. Just got to go in one. <laughs> Just to annoy Lewis, because he likes the Royal Caribbean cheesecake. Four cheesecakes. If you didn't have the key, this is the alternative, isn't it? Come in in the buffet. Yeah. It's chaos, isn't it? Yep. Oh, little cakes, that. Chocolate bar looks quite nice. Three pound cake. Yeah. Why not? Pistachio pie. Caramel brulee. Oh, see, I'd like that. So would I. Vanilla sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Coconut cream puppy got things on me. Oh my god. I reckon. Yeah. Only little. Yeah, not really tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Little steam pots here, look. Yeah, lots of more Asian choices there. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Lots of curries and Asian stuff, isn't there? Butter chicken. It's carnage in there, we made it on board. It is only one o'clock in the afternoon, everyone goes to the buffet, it's going to be really busy. There's an alternative, you can go to the Solarium Bistro. 
Um, so that's an option, Slayer and Beast Day, or you can also go to the main dining room to do a buffet if you don't want to fight through the crowds. I'm going to have a look, see if our cabin's up ready. They're 125 and they've just opened the cabin doors for us. We're going, to, we're going to come have a look at your cabin. Oh, are you coming? Yeah. I don't know. Go on the other route. Yeah, go on, have oh, a couple of them. There you go. Yeah, yeah, I might buy the lift. lift. Cards there. Oh, cool. An outie. An outie. An outie. Not, <laughs> not an innie. An outie, not an innie. That good or bad. <laughs> Should have a bigger balcony. Yeah, deeper. That's a nice size balcony, isn't it? Your dream setup. This is Tim and Helen's cab. What number is this one? 11? 646. Nice, large balcony. It's alright, isn't it? Sit in your book. We've got a view right up and down, which would be for the stucky hour. Yeah. 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 Well, a quick update, we've had our chops grill lunch, had a wander around. It's getting on towards four o'clock in the afternoon, which is sail away. Sun's come out, it's a bit rainy this morning, but that doesn't matter, that's why we were travelling. We're fairly midships and a little sticky out bit on Spectrum of the Seas, deck 11. Got a nice view on each side. There's a tug down there waiting to assist us because we're front into the port, so it's got a reverse out, spin round, and negotiate his way out. Lots of ships, quite a busy port, Singapore. I think it's supposed to be one of the busiest in the world, actually. Hopefully you can see we're off, just moving, just turning out of Singapore, heading to Malaysia tomorrow, Port Klang, Batu Caves we're going to, we've hired a taxi, so we just went online, hired a taxi, much cheaper and easier to do on a cruise ship, it's going to take us in the morning to Batu Caves, and then on to the Patronus Towers, where we've got a tour booked there, it's 45 minutes to go into the towers, just pre-booked that with a time slot on the internet really easy to do and after that we've got some free time so um, we'll get the taxi driver just to take us anywhere depending on what time we've got left before we're back to the ship and of course um, this evening uh, first dinner on board we're going to go in the, just in the main restaurant tonight uh, 4 p.m. now 4 p.m. sail away from Singapore I'm being assisted by a little tugboat down there you might be able to see him there he is just helping the ship as it reverses out. We're pointing into the ports. He's going to have to reverse out, do a little turn, and out to sea. It's been raining on and off this morning. Hasn't really bothered us because we've been sort of getting on the ship and travelling from the hotel. Um, rains quite a bit in Singapore. I think people suggest to bring a brolly rather than. Um, any kind of pack a mac or waterproof coat because you put that on and you're going to cook in the heat you're just going to sweat Even amongst the town there's lots of covered places to walk anyway so you won't get too wet yeah it's been busy busy on the ship when we first got on I had a little walk round to the outside and in the buffet always is when you first get on it's always a bit of a bum fight everyone's all a bit lost everyone wants to go and get some food don't over worry about that Spectrum similar to Odyssey, uh, it's a sister ship, decoration slightly different, layout more or less the same. Quite tall and narrow, so by the pool you haven't got a lot of space if you want to find a sunbed. But there are lots of quieter places you can go and find some. Yeah, thank you. 
It's our first dinner, first meal of the ship. Thank you. Lovely, thank you very much. Brilliant. Thank you. Oh, morning, we're just arriving in Port Klang, Malaysia, for Kuala Lumpur, the city. We've got an independent tour. Oh, I'm taking back breakfast in a minute. Yeah, distracted. We've got an independent tour booked this morning. We're going to go to uh, the Batu Caves. We've got a taxi picking us up, just booked him on the internet. Batu Caves. And from there, he's going to take us on to the Patronus Towers, once the tallest twin towers in the world. I think they're still the tallest in Asia at the moment. Uh, we've booked that online. You do a little tour, 45 minute tour. You've got to book a time slot. So we're there for about 11, 12 o'clock today. Yeah, book that online. Taxi's going to take us to the caves, then on to the towers. And from there, we go where we like, really. Um, we might get in a couple of photo stops. There's a, a palace and uh, couple of places just to get a photo stop in in Kuala Lumpur all aboard I think it's about half past four this afternoon ship sails at five um, it's half seven in the morning now We're just coming into dock docks at eight o'clock uh, it's not a tender it's a port call we do have a tender I think on this cruise or maybe the next one uh, just been to breakfast oh my god it's chaos up there up in the buffet packed very very busy I suppose everyone's getting ready to get off so you have to get there very early if you want a quieter breakfast but there are other places you can get a breakfast if you want to go somewhere quiet perhaps I think there's a solarium you can go to um, a little cafe up by the solarium um, there's a place at 270 which is a um, entertainment venue but that doesn't open till 8 that's a bit of a pain um, you can also go to the main dining room, have a little sit-down breakfast or possibly a sit-down or a buffet in there, which is normally a bit quieter. Not so much choice as the main buffet, not, but certainly quieter probably would have been a better idea this morning. Although it's all about experience, isn't it? Quite enjoyed the experience. Bum fight at the buffet. You've got to try it at least once in your lifetime. Anyway, we'll show you getting off the ship shortly. Hopefully we'll meet our taxi driver. We've got to pay him in cash, so we've got some local currency out. And then come with us to the Batu Caves. Make sure you're properly dressed. Ladies in particular can't wear strappy tops or short shorts. Men don't think they're so strict on. Oh, there's a little boat down there. Might be the might be the pilot getting off, possibly. Let's have a look, shall we? A pilot boat. We're just waiting to get off now. The docking time was eight o'clock. It's only just after eight, five past eight now. They're waiting for immigration to clear. Follow the signs to the gangway in the dock today. Uh, we told our taxi driver eight o'clock pick up. It's only us getting in the taxi, so he'll see the ship dock in and wait for us. He done that. He's not getting paid. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be there just under an hour to get to the Batu Caves and I think that opens at 9 so that'll be about good timing I reckon it takes about an hour and a half or you need about an hour and a half maybe two hours there so we've got there till about 11 probably and then we're going to the Patronus Towers and we've paid for a little 45 minute tour around that you see come with us come and jump in the taxi with us so I feel give me a dirty look <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be dirty look last night as well. Probably another one tonight. Yeah, having a little display, a little art display up there. I'll have to Google what that is. 
And the weather forecast for today is partly cloudy skies with light winds and a high temperature of up. Another thing they do a lot of just stop. Did they say 36? Oh, I heard you in the morning. Yeah, 36. 36? Not too bad then. Oh, there you go. Welcome to Malaysia. Port Klang. Off to the Batu Caves. Oh, no, I've said that before. He's Tim, he's off already. Ah, oh, well, we've just arrived at the Batu Caves. About an hour, just over an hour taxi ride from the ship. Group photo, maybe? Oh, we're okay. Uh, okay? Maybe, maybe uh, we're in a minute. Yeah, uh, thank you. Yeah. It's free entry, you don't have to pay at all from what I can see. I think you have to pay to bring your car in. You had to pay to bring the car in, didn't you? But I don't think two dollars. Two You're allowed to take photos, aren't you? Yeah. Ready to count the steps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fifty. <laughs> That's fifty steps so far. I just thought I'd stop for the view, it's quite nice. <laughs> She's on a mission, that. Oh, last flight, I've done 254 so far steps. That's what it looks like. 254 steps so far. Lots of rubbish. Two seven one that was. in a photo, photo opportunity. They don't mind, don't mind throwing the rubbish about, do they? All up the steps is rubbish. They would have thought, because it's like a religious site, they would have kept it cleaner. Batu Caves then. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a bit bigger than I thought, actually. A bit bigger than it looks on YouTube, unless you've got a big telly. It's a nice bit of a cool breeze, isn't there? Yeah. Feels a bit cooler in here. Yeah, lots of rubbish, but you can see they're trying to keep it clear, aren't they? The sort of poles are a bit swept up. Yeah, it has, that's true. Yeah, they're just... Apparently there's been some festival, I don't know if it's to do with Chinese New Year or uh, Hindu, Hindu religious festival. Um, so obviously we've got all the rubbish there, it's obviously been very busy, isn't it?
Yeah, there's a view from the top of the steps of the Batu Caves. We've been here 35 minutes. It's enough time to get up, have a wander around. Obviously, if it's your particular religion that you follow and you know a bit more about the caves, then you'll spend more time in here, with more importance to you. But as a tourist, just to see a reasonable hour, give you enough time to have a look around. Pop to the shops on the way down. Get yourself a fridge magnet. Can't go home without one. Uh, from here we're going to go on to the Petronas Towers, he's going to take us to a viewpoint, take a couple of pictures from outside and then we've got our tour, tour of the towers. Lots of people, yeah. <laughs> okay, next stop, photo opportunity at the Royal Palace. There's no, you're not allowed in the Royal Palace, no public access, but lots of the tour groups come here. You can see the, over there, the coaches from the cruise ship. Come here for a photo opportunity. Palace. Palace, okay. Negara is a country, actually. So Cass and Helen, not unsurprisingly, have been drifting towards the horse more than the palace. Mm. Twin Towers, Tronus. Got to be there caught for now before we get there. So. Sort of spot on timing, really. Oh, we go inside the Petronas Towers now. now. We're going on the tour. Starts at 12 o'clock, got to be there at quarter two. Hello, come to level 86, you'll have about 15 minutes. Yeah.
Yeah, it's Kuala Lumpur on your own. Oh, okay. So they literally, yeah, just drop you here. And then they suggested to them, you can, we can show the way to the tower if you want to go up there. Quick shopping stop at the central market. He said, well, he pointed this way and go left. It probably goes to the same place, I'd imagine. But yeah. Well, I've seen a bit more, haven't we? Tour the city. There you go. I think this goes into the market through here. That's it, we've um, finished in Port Klang, Kuala Lumpur. See, not some we've seen the Batu Caves, Petronas Towers, the Royal Palace, local market. Uh, it's about um, quarter past three now. Head it back on, I think we're going to probably go for the buffet. Right, good evening. It's 10 to 6. We're just sailing away from Port Klang. Malaysia, another port tomorrow morning, still in Malaysia. We're going to Penang. Uh, we're just doing our own thing in Penang. We're going to walk off the ship. Apparently, there's some jetties, uh, little shops and things that you can walk to locally. Um, there's some local artwork to see, uh, maybe even jump in a rickshaw. I haven't booked anything. We're just going to wing it tomorrow. And see how we get on. Sometimes it's nice, isn't it, just to chill out a bit and wing it and not to worry about time so much. Dock at eight o'clock, all aboard. I think it's half five tomorrow, so we should set about six. Need just to double check that tomorrow morning. Um, it's formal night tonight, although they don't call it that anymore. They call it dress to impress. Royal Caribbean aren't very strict on formal nights. P&O, you'd have to have a jacket and a tie to get into the main restaurants, the buffet and things, uh, you don't need to, but Royal Caribbean, I think, just dress smartly is what they suggest. But you don't even need a tie if you don't want to, shirt and collared shirt and trousers and you wouldn't look out of place. I think Tim and I are gonna wear a suit tonight, not a tux, but we're gonna um, wear a bit of a suit, shirt and tie. Wifey, Helen will probably be uh, dressing up with something sparkly. Main restaurant tonight for eight o'clock. And um, yeah, so tomorrow morning we'll get up early for breakfast. But we'll take you to the main restaurant later so you can come with us and you see what's on the menu. Don't know if they make an extra effort on formal night or dress to impress night. Might be a bit of a beef wellington or steak maybe. It's starting to rain a little bit. You can see the rain coming in over on the right hand side of the ship. Is that port or starboard? I don't know. The left, left, the left-hand side is really quite um, undeveloped. I guess it's sort of marshland and things. That's probably why they've not built on it. So the port behind us is quite built up, very industrial, not a very pretty port. The dock was okay, and the cruise port was okay. We booked that online as well. If you want to go to Petronas Towers. Book and pay for it online, pick your time. When you get to the towers, don't queue up again where they're queuing up. Um, just wait at the entrance to the tower tour. You'll see where that is. It's just um, along the same um, level from where you buy the tickets, but it's not actually at the ticket booth. You don't have to queue up again there. We weren't sure when we got there. Yeah, that was good fun. Hopefully you've seen that on the video. 
Come to dinner with us tonight for CNN. I just thought I'd just walk you around a couple of the public decks. We're going to the Diamond Lounge, actually, just have a quick look around. But it is formal night tonight, or dress to impress, they call it, in Royal Caribbean. Like I said before, it's not as strict on P&O as on P&O. So, have a little look around while we're walking. You can just check out how people have dressed. Seen a few sparkly things, haven't we? No. Quite a few's got a little sparkly number on. Yeah. Well, not many, but then you can see there's a few that don't. You don't have to, it's up to you. If you go to the buffet, doesn't matter. Oh, there you go. Don't want to go in front of the camera. Do you want to go down and along? Oh, good Hi, yeah, good evening. Hello. Down. down, yeah. Sounds like someone's um, murdering the karaoke. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't, probably less than half of the people are dressed up, do you reckon? If that. On the PO cruise, it will be probably about 80 90% of people. We'll dress yeah, up. What well, is the main dining room? You can't get in without a jacket and a tie. I don't that. Yeah, well, I think so. Okay, some people just go to the buffet with kids and things, maybe. It'd be interesting to see in the main dining room, wouldn't it? And see yeah. other people in there. No. Asked. Have you had a look? No, I don't think they did. No, no. Don't do it today, yeah. Is it because it's just a standard brand name, is it? I just got distracted. Distracted by the shop. No, you wander around. But yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Quarter to eight now, we've got our meal at eight o'clock. Oh. World Theatre, sounds like kicking off. Oh, Showgirls. Yeah, normally the shows are on twice an evening, um, so you can fit them around your dining. Our dining is 8 o'clock and the show is on at half 7, they go on for 45 minutes. So we're not going to get time to see the early one. The other end below us are vintages. Oh yeah, yeah, this is the Diamond Lounge, or Crown Lounge as they call it now. To show you some of the snacks that they've got. Cheese and cold cuts. Goat's cheese and tarts. Little corn. Stuffed pepper juice. Sliced fruit. Yeah, there you go. Little cakes and things. Do you have a nice coffee machine that you can have? Espressos, cappuccino, lattes. So if you're diamond and above, you can come in here and help yourself to some of those. Hello, you're all right. Just had a quick spin round, and they do have little snacks as well. What have they got in there? Meatballs. Oh, they look quite good, don't they? Can I try one? What else is in there? 
vegetable fritters. Do you want one? Oh, I'm going to try a meatball, yeah. It'd be weird not to, isn't it? You can try one. Oh, nice. Oh, it's it's quite warm, warm, isn't it, back there? It is a bit. You look at some of the dress, dress code. <laughs> Not made an effort, have they? landing in Penang, my second stop in Malaysia. Got a little walk around on our own today, nothing planned particularly, but we've done a little bit of research. Going to Georgetown, I think it's called, and the jetties. Um, maybe a little street market, and uh, maybe a little hawker's um, market, which I think is what they call street food. Jetties, can you? No. Okay, that's it. We're off in Penang, Malaysia. What time is it? Ten past five past nine in the morning. We're going for a wander. See where we end up. Yeah, that was a swimming pool. I hope you can hear me, but as in any port, when you get off. Lots of people uh, offering city tours. We're okay. We're okay, thank you. So they offer lots of um, taxis, cabs, and city tours. So if you haven't got anything planned, at any port you get off, there'll be somebody there trying to take your money. I'm okay, thank you. Thanks, sir. Gonna walk. <laughs> well, I give you a place to walk, sir. Oh, uh, okay. It's, it's the place all ready for. It's not near. Oh, okay. You are here, right? I might come country. back, but I'm okay. I'm here, you, sir. Okay, exit through the tour groups. Standard in any port that you get to, but it's good, isn't it? It gives you lots of much cheaper options normally than the cruise excursions. Ah, <laughs> ready? Right behind Tim. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you didn't get a taxi on the way through in there, then you might get a few outside that are going to try and um, offer you their money. Thank you. Well, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm okay. I'm okay for now. Thank you. Thank you. I'm okay for a minute. Thank you. This one is very beautiful. See, this is an old highland. Yeah. 
I bring you the very interesting oh. plants. You can take video, you can do YouTube, everything. You see? <laughs> Kellogg's Temple, first thing. Very nice. If no nice, no need to pay money. Free. We're gonna we're gonna walk first, so we're fine. Thank you. How many of you? Thank you. We're okay, thank you. Yes! Come, come, come. Can it is? Yeah, they're living in here. Mm. They've got mailboxes and everything. Mm. Oh, different, I suppose, isn't it? You've got to see views. Not really. Water views. <laughs> two jetties, this one. I think there's two or three different named jetties. Obviously very tourist orientated, but it's very different to what we see back home, certainly back where we live. Yeah, worth a visit. A 15 minute walk from the ship, after you've been accosted. Quite interesting, isn't it? Just on a street tour, <laughs> Patang, courtesy of Google. If you want to see all the street art when you're wandering around, just walk off the ship, it's really easy. Don't listen to the taxi drivers. 10 minute walk, you're in the main town, you can walk around the jetties, really easy to find and do. And stick in Google street art, and then you'll get the list of the most famous ones. This one, boy on a motorbike. Yeah. You have um, a chocolate. Just yes, drink from that in one, did you? No. <laughs> what was in there? I don't know. Just trying to suck it. Recording, Nige. Didn't know. Yeah. yeah. I need some help. Yeah. Need some backup. <laughs> Tim might. Tim's gonna help, aren't you? Tim, don't let me down. Don't let me down. Where's Kim from Australia, right? Uh, UK, England. Yeah, it's an easy mistake. The <laughs> <laughs> same isn't. Yeah. Sprinkles. You guys want me to do headlocks? That's nice. nice. <laughs> there you go. Oh, thank thank you. you. Thank you very much. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Can you guess where we are? Yes. It's Chinatown. No. Little India. Nice. Just had some little chocolate puffballs. Low calorie, of course. I, you know, I need low calorie stuff for 
or celery sticks is my normal go-to, especially at McDonald's. I've lost the gang, they've gone in a sweet shop now. There might be a reason for that. Might be a reason you sort of stand back there. Have I? You need to like do some flying motions, like that's it. <laughs> like look down or something, like you're looking at something. <laughs> Just making that look silly, really. No. Oh yeah. <laughs> it makes you feel like you're moving. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Look, I'm just standing up here. Stand up in the middle then. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Does it look funny? Yeah. Is it a right? Not really. Yeah. Distracted. I'm distracted. It's okay, just step back and look. What are you laughing about? He's wearing his glasses. He was wearing them. Tim's gone to find his glasses, but he's got them on his head. Has he actually got them on? Yeah, he's wearing them. He's going to be looking all over and come back and say, can't find them. <laughs> ah, so this is where we're going to. I've just watched a show. Hmm, a bit of kind of acrobatic show. It wasn't the best one. Yesterday's show was brilliant. The um, Showgirls, Past, Present and Future, really good. One of the best shows we've seen. But tonight we're in Shushan Red. <laughs> it's not Shushan, it's Susan. <laughs> you know, if you know, you know. Excuse me, sir. We're coming into land. Can I store that overhead for you? Certainly. So, I don't think he's a Susan. But then you're not a linguist, are you, Tanya? It's not Susan, it's Shushan. From the Zinzu region, unless I'm very much mistaken. But ah, anyway, we're in here tonight, so speciality restaurant, a la carte. So you pay off the menu, basically. And I'll go and see what it's like. Come with us. Beef and the baked tofu. Beef and, and tofu. That is your noodles. Oh, that's just. 
gender reasons. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Same as Karen. Yeah. I said no. It is. <laughs> It's a good job we didn't. He was going to order two mines. We could change the game because we have the... Yeah, that's never going to work. Yeah. Slippery little suckers. Thank one, you. The plus one level of spiciness. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. Yes, if you know, you know. It's about half six in the morning, actually. Quarter to seven. We are in Phuket today. And it's a tender port, so we're going to dock out the sea. Take a little boat in to the dock. Um, if you haven't got the key that we've spoken about before, then you need to queue up for a tender ticket. Uh, first come, first serve, you get a number... Obviously going to start at number one, get there early enough, you can get the first tenders. And then you've got to wait for the announcement to call that number. And you go down to the tender deck, which is probably deck two, but I'll let you know. I've got the key, you don't need a ticket, apparently. You go to the music hall. It's vintages to get your normal tickets, but music hall for the key. And I think they take you straight down from there, but I'm just going to go and find out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Phuket, Thailand. Today, while the ship in Phuket, the ship operation is running with Thailand time. And at this moment, it is 6.50. 6.50 a.m. For the guests who want to get ashore, if you book the short excursion tour, please refer to the tickets with meeting time and the location. And for all the other independent guests who want to go out during the peak hours, you can proceed to the vintages to pick up your tender tickets until 8 a.m. and then wait for your number to be called in the public area on deck number 4 and above. Once your number been called, you can proceed to the tender loading area located on deck number three mission. Please have your C-Pass card, which is your room key, and gather all your travel partners before you're heading down to the gangway. At this time, we would like to call the guests holding tender tickets number one, two, three, four, and five. The guests holding tender tickets number one, two, three, four and five if you're ready you can now proceed to the tender loading area located on deck number three mission thank you and have a nice day oh lost wifey having a quick look around the beach in phuket nice nice easy to walk around uh -uh. yeah busy Cross over. Okay. I'm gonna go for it. He ain't stopping for no one. What way to the walk up uh, and then back down again? Yeah. Waffles and pancakes. Breakfast. Burgers. Oats. Nice, eh? Yeah, it's nice.
нравится, да. I'm on the GoPro now. I've got the GoPro out. I've been filming on the DJI Pocket 3 most of the cruise so far, but got a bit of a war today. Today on the beach at Phuket, Patong Beach, it's called. You can see the ship out in the distance. Little tender ride to shore. And then there's a really nice little beach. I'm sure there's much nicer beaches in Phuket, but if you just want a lazy morning, come off, walk to the left and grab a sunbed 200 whatever they're called for two and an umbrella so it was about a five or something like that five quid for two sunbeds and an umbrella for the day can't beat that really can you there's lots of taxis again waiting to um take you on a tour lots of long boats taking you on a tour much cheaper than the ship's tour uh if that's your thing if you want to do it independently save a bit of money Take a bit of a risk, obviously, because <laughs> ship's not going to wait for you. Last ten to back, quarter past seven this evening. Uh, we've got a little bit of a risk because we're doing an afternoon tour of the Elephant Sanctuary. And we get back at 6pm. Some festival here tonight, we've been told, so it's going to be busy in the town. Good to see. Bit of a gamble, isn't it? You might, you might see us running up the gangplank. Peer runners, isn't it, they call them. I'm normally there filming them, but this time could be filming ourselves. Hey, anyway, let's dip our toes in the sea. That's wifey and Helen being brave. Does it feel like a bath? Um, no? Nice. Oh. Warmer than the Caribbean. Yeah, it's not warm, warm, but it's okay. It's fishies. Yeah, and the little paddle. I'll show you my legs. Hold yourselves back. You know, it's a struggle. My feet been struggling for the whole cruise. <laughs> and, uh, it's Valentine's Day. It was on it yesterday. Got my a nice card. Didn't get me one. Have a word. Anyway, there you go. There's the ship. Having a nice paddle. Bit um bit cloudy the water. I don't think you'd be doing any snorkeling here. Maybe you've got to go out um to some of the islands. James Bond Island, isn't it? One of the famous ones. Another sad thing, isn't it? We see um history now by what film's been made there. We're also doing the southeast on the beach. Good. Oh, my God. Make your YouTube yes, star. Oh, that over there. Oh, yeah. And one there. That one and that one. Thank you. Don't look at mine. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Fries are there and the pineapples there. Thank you very much. <laughs> nice. I can't remember what it's called. Chicken curry and pineapple and cashew. Got fish cake. Crikey, there. They are big balls of ice cream. Yep, fine. Thank you. And one for me. That's fine. No, no. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> uh, it's tennis ball. Tennis yeah. Ball, yeah. It's it's nice. isn't it? This one's a good salad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Low calorie? Yeah, low calorie. <laughs> Not for diabetic. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Just waiting for our pickup to the Green Elephant Sanctuary. Just across the road, there you can see that's the Patong Jetty that takes you to the tender. Hopefully, you can see the cruise ship out to sea. And this is where we meet our driver, the Live LIV Hotel, it's right by the right by the cruise jetty. Uh, it's about half past one in the afternoon now. 
last tender is quarter past seven this evening and they say they're going to drop us back here for 6 p.m. So it gives us an hour and a quarter spare just in case of traffic. Oh, wow. Mighty high. We just arrived at the Green Elephant Sanctuary. Bit of a rush. Very busy traffic. Literally just got here. There's some lockers to put your valuables in. Really small lockers. Rest of your bags you can leave on the table. But you cannot see her face. And two more with everyone. The mother and the baby in the enclosure. The mother, her name is Daurung. 40 years old. And the super naughty girl, <laughs> her name is Sandy, one year old. Oh. And Sounds the faulty. reason that we not allow you to touch both of them because the mother will report to keep her. Yeah. And also about the immune system of the baby is not fully developed yet. You can give the food for the mother, she always hungry. But not the naughty one, please. Right now, the main food for her is new from her mother. And everybody should take the photo boat off them. But please don't get free. A lot? A lot? Yes, Even for new ones. One by one. <laughs> What's her name? His name? Lucy. 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 Yeah. So she. You just love the flat. One by one. One by one. Oh. Oh, I see. Like Sorry, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. I've got a horse at home, and the horse is flat. Sweet. Where can I touch? On the body. On the body. Inside. Inside. On the body. Round that side. Yeah. 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 Much more food. <laughs> Look at me. Smile. Oh, she's big, isn't she? <laughs> Thank you. She's huge. Yeah. How old is she? Forty. Oh, forty. Forty. Can I take? Smile. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Huge, aren't they? Yeah, <laughs> it's ready for that one. <laughs> oh. She wants another one. Gonna steal my stick. <laughs> <laughs> Can you come and touch her. Yeah. Body. Yep. My name is Ida. Yeah, we're going. Amazing, aren't they? Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Which one did you see? Um, Lucy, which okay. is the one on the end that you're allowed right. to touch. Yeah, up. yeah. yeah. Oh no, she's looking again. <laughs> no. I'm going to get a few more. Yeah, I think so. Might be. Kids will get them. Don't you have Not behind the ear, not behind the ear, only here. Children! Please stay at the half front always. Oh, it's warm. Oh, it's warm. <laughs> when you would like to walk around them. Right, okay. Yeah. On the body. Like the oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. 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 Oh, nice.
Yeah, 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 it's tempting, isn't it? That's it, on the belly. That's it. You got it. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> oh, I'm on feet, I'm on feet. Show me She's trying to get you. She's having a poo now. Yeah. Is that a relaxed poo, Yeah. Put some elbow grease in. Just show you around the buffet that they've done for us at the Elephant Sanctuary. Mm. I thought it was going to be a light snack, but there's loads of food. So you've got rice, uh, chicken. They call this chicken nuggets, Thai style. And they've cooked it all fresh here. Watch the ladies cooking it. Spring rolls, some noodles, and sweet chilli sauce, and we've got some fruit. Nice, nice. In Cuba. I won't be, that's for sure.
shooting range. Yeah. It's not very long range. No. <laughs> not for a rifle like that. Too. <laughs> I think that's got to be an air, air pistol or something. Maybe. Yeah. So we're only just going past that high rise place. <laughs> Go for? Potato curry. Potato curry? What have you gone for, Helen? Pad thai, because we're in Thailand. Pad thai, yeah. Thank you very much. Another pad thai. Pad thai, don't worry. Thank you very much. Enjoy. the end of a very nice day in Phuket elephant sanctuary and a little beach in the morning nice nice little restaurant could go back there I think to be fair very cheap very cheap food and traveling around if you come here on a ship's Royal Caribbean excursion don't book the excursion with Royal Caribbean for the elephant sanctuary book it online direct with a company I imagine they get more money probably if you put it online with them. Much cheaper, half the price. Really easy to do. They got us back easily in time for the tender back to the ship. Yeah, it's about 10 o'clock at night now. I don't know if you can see those glows right in the distance. Apparently you can see them from space. They're like green glows. It's squid fishermen. So they're boats with bright green lights. We sailed out past them as we left Phuket. Um, catching fish, squid, apparently using the lights. Google it anyway, I'll tell you all about it. Tomorrow we've got a sea day. So we'll show you the sea day bun fight by the swimming pool. Yeah, it's difficult to get a sunbed by the swimming pool unless you're up really early. Uh, there are plenty of sunbeds around the ship that you can find, though. You just have to go to a quieter area. If you want somewhere specific, you've got to be there early. People do reserve them, they put towels and put out um, books and all sorts of things to save them. A bit naughty, but, but you know, it's the same on all ships. Might be a bit different actually, because it's going to be so hot out. I don't know if people will be wanting to sit in the sun for too long, but we'll have a look. We'll find out tomorrow. Day after that is technically the end of the cruise. It's certainly the end of the five night cruise. Some people will be leaving. We are doing a back-to-back, -back, so we're going to be on the nine-night cruise day after tomorrow. So we land on the 17th day after tomorrow in Singapore. And the ship is in overnight in Singapore for the... Um, and it swaps the next cruise from the 17th. Got a few things planned in Singapore. We want to go to Little India, um, Chinatown, Gardens by the Bay. We want to see the light show, the trees. That's caught to eight in the evening. We're going to watch that. And, um, yeah, a few other little things. So come with us, follow us around. Hopefully you'll get some idea of how to cruise a little bit more cheaper and better, get a better experience. The more we've cruised, the more we've got out of cruising, to be fair. And um, save a little bit of money along the way, which is always good. But you're on holiday, aren't you? Don't mind spending money. Bionic Bar. Now normally, especially when you go from Southampton and out in the Mediterranean, it's pretty packed, the Bionic Bar. I haven't seen many people using it on this cruise. Don't know why. Obviously it's mainly Asians on this ship, but for some reason they don't seem to like it as much as 
British market, I guess. Uh, yeah, okay, so I've mentioned the key a couple of times, the pay for perks program. One of the other advantages of the key is a reserved seating area in the theatre. To be fair, it's probably not the best view from here, but uh, if it's really busy and these seats will be saved for you, so you can come in and sit here without having to worry about fighting for a seat. At the moment it's really quiet, so you can sit where you like. Maybe downstairs on deck four, you can get closer to the show. This is up on deck five, up in the balcony, a bit further away. And you'll see a member of staff here. We'll just check your key card or your C-Pass card, and it'll have a little sign on it to show that you've got the key. And you can sit in the area off to the right-hand side. Just there. Oh, back on again. I'll show you downstairs a better view that you get. It's Funny Bones tonight. Comedian. Oh wow, good morning. It's a sea day today, a first sea day on our first five night cruise. Singapore tomorrow. People are getting off tomorrow, but we're doing the back to back, so we've got a transfer cabins going to a junior suite that'd be interesting to see and we've got a nine night cruise from tomorrow we're overnight in Singapore tomorrow and it's about half seven in the morning oh look at the sunrise beautiful there's a few people up taking photos at the moment none of the sunbeds have been reserved that's a good sign. On, certainly on UK based cruises by half seven, 25 to 8 in the morning, you'll have lots of sunbeds reserved. Um, Spectrum of the Seas is quite a tall, narrow ship compared to some. For the amount of people that are on it, there's limited space around the pool. There's always somewhere you can find somewhere. You can find somewhere a lot quieter, you can stay. Um, around the top decks towards the front and back of the ship you normally get a space for a sunbed or oh, five to eight actually that's the right time but if you want a place by the pool generally uh, you'll struggle a little bit because there's limited seating down there or oh, there's one British guy up there that has staked his claim up by the um, sky bar he's got his towels out where he wants to be for the day. Cows are blowing away though, he's going to struggle with that. Nice, wife is in bed still, asleep. Uh, I'll just can't get some milk, there's no milk in the cabins, they use a kind of powdered creamer for the tea or coffee. You've got a kettle in there and tea bags and coffee and things but they don't put milk in your cabin so we've just been popping up to the buffet getting a glass putting some milk in putting that in the fridge for a couple of days and then changing it to freshen it up a bit uh, they like a lot of green tea here I suppose so they, they don't use milk for green tea yeah wind jam at eight o'clock in the morning on a sea day There's a few people here but it's not not particularly busy not as busy as it can get You've got other options. You can go to the 270 for breakfast. You can go to the main dining room for an a la carte, sit down, breakfast. I think there's a couple of other places you can go, a couple of little cafes you can go to. But obviously the most choice is in the buffet. Um, very Asian orientated in the buffet here, but that's great for us because we can see and eat things that we wouldn't normally have at home. 
I've only got this one main area for breakfast as well. Some of the ships have been on there have this, and it'll be repeated again a bit further down. So it does get busy, but probably best come in, find your seat first, put a couple of drinks down, find your seat, and then go and get your breakfast. Loads of seats at the moment. The more you walk down towards the back of the ship, higher. The more you walk down towards the back of the ship, the more spaces you find. Everyone wants to be in the first seats. You can see at the moment there's like nobody down towards the back of the ship. Here's a tea and coffee making facility. You can get English breakfast tea, lemon tea, chamomile, green tea, peppermint tea, Earl Grey. Wow, there you go. Lots of choices. Sorrento's on here is a lot smaller than most of the other Royal Caribbean ships have been on. And it's part of the buffet, the corner of the buffet. Normally it's down on the Royal Esplanade and it's a nice little place when you're walking around downstairs to grab a naughty snack. I think um, if you're up in the buffet, you're probably going to go to the buffet more than come and grab a slice of pizza. Well, the buffet shuts in the afternoon from 3pm, uh, I think 3 o'clock till 5 or 3 o'clock till 6. Um, Sorrento stays open, so that's when it will be busier in here. Oh, anyway, that's your little little tour, little tour of the windjammer for breakfast. Go and find wifey now. Hello, good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Go and find wifey and give her a, a milk for a tea. It's, I don't know if you hear me. It's a little bit breezy, but it's nine o'clock in the morning now. This is really strange. On a UK cruise, all of these sunbeds will be reserved, sat on, there won't be any space, but they're virtually all empty, so I don't know where everyone is. Maybe they're up in the solarium as an indoor bit. It's, um, it's getting hot out already, and I guess when the sun comes out, it might even be too hot to sit out in the sunshine. Now, there's a little bit of cloud cover and a nice breeze, so that makes it quite comfortable. Um, we've got a little chair up by the sky bar. We decided to sit in the chair, it's got a little sun shade. So if the sun comes out too hot later, we've got a bit of a shade. Yeah, it's quite refreshing, isn't it? Those horrible UK people aren't here. <laughs> All the British that stick their sunbeds out, stick their towels out on the sunbed early in the morning. Um, very strange, but a bit refreshing don't know what the Asians do at nine o'clock in the morning there must be something else going on somewhere I'm missing out on but uh, if you know what it is if you know why they're not here let me know put it in the comments not much of a view today out there no different I suppose <laughs> Got a leak. It's a leak. Yeah, that's funny, isn't it? Thank you. This is when we got all this, and then we got all the extra stuff on top, didn't we? We thought, oh no. That was my other option. Yeah, crispy, crispy chicken. Thank you. Yeah, lovely.
Oh, yeah, Ma'am Carrie. Thank you very much. All right. Enjoy. All right. Thank you. You won't want it much bigger. No, don't need a word. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry, no, no whipped cream. Oh, okay. Uh, on, the, on the, on the oh, banana split, but I bring the, the whipped cream. On the side. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> I okay, said, you won't that. do it. He said, I won't do it. Just put this on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. They are following the chef's standards. Yeah, that's I said, fine. put it there. No, 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 no. Key breakfast we're at at the moment. So it's a final perk of your VIP key program. You get a little sit down out of cart, a special menu for breakfast. A bit nicer, a bit more civilised than the bum fight in the buffet. Getting off today, going around Singapore. Got a few things to see. We're going to the Jewel, taking the MRT. We'll show you how to get through the MRT. It's quite easy to do. Experts now. And from the Jewel, I think we're going to go maybe to visit the Long Bar that we didn't get in last time. And, uh, ah, so we're just getting off for our day in Singapore. It's um, swap over day, so we're in transit. Easy enough to get off. They give you your passport because you need that to go through immigration. You have to queue with everybody else. Um, we skipped the queue on the ship because we've got the key. That's the final, final benefit having the key so don't queue up with everyone else just show a member of staff your c pass card it'll have a key logo on it and they'll let you through to skip the queue just getting off the ship but then obviously you've got to get in the same queue for immigration uh, it's about 10 to 9 in the morning now so probably amongst the busiest time and you only get up to half past nine to leave the ship and then they close because of immigration they'll close the um, gates and you're either stuck on board or stuck off the ship for a couple of hours till immigration opens again 
probably about 11 o'clock in the morning when the new passengers can get on. But we're going to get the MRT. There's an MRT station directly at the port. We're going to get that and find our way to the Jewel at the airport, one with a big waterfall. Uh, we'll show you around there this morning. After that, I think, wow, well, we've got a day in Singapore. We're going to end up this evening, Gardens by the Bay. So if you're leaving the ship and they've taken your luggage off for you, you had to put out the night before, this is where you collect it. It's all numbered, it's all coded for, from your luggage label. So your luggage label will have a number on it, you just come and find the number that corresponds to yours. Uh, a lot of people take their own luggage off, we normally do, but we've got lots of it next time, so we'll, um, we'll let them take it off. Oh, I made it so far, we're on our way from the cruise dock using the MRT. We're going to go to Shanghai Airport, look at the jewel. It's really easy to follow, just find a map, follow it. They give you all the instructions in English on the train. So we changed once from the cruise terminal already, and then we're changing again at Tanamera. And they actually tell you just cross over the platform to the centre platform, which is there. <laughs> and there's signs you can see to Shanghai. Shangi Airport. And we're going to find the jewel, and apparently there's a food court there. Top tip there: if you're going to eat, go down into the basement. That's where all the locals eat. Much cheaper than the main restaurants upstairs. But we'll try and find them and show you. As soon as you get off the train, just follow the signs. Basically, if you're looking for the jewel, it's well signposted. Up a couple of escalators. And then you'll be where we are now. Signposted to the left here. Oh, the escalators. Anyway, you get the point. Just keep following the signs. It looks simple enough. If I can do it, you can. Yeah, so from Terminal 2 or 3, this is the link bridge that takes you across to the jewel. Follow the signs, like I said. It's simple. Now, people say you don't generally get a lot of time if you're coming here to check in. Um, so we've come here on a day when we're not actually flying. So we're not in a rush. Going to probably spend a couple of hours here grab something to eat and then the kids are going to go to the raffles they want to go to the long bar we queued up for that earlier if you remember if you saw that when we first come to Singapore but we didn't manage to get in uh, so the kids are going to go there I'm probably going to take Karen to a street where she used to live when she was younger Serangoon Garden Way she doesn't know that yet a bit of a surprise it's only a residential street it won't be very interesting on the video but I think she needs just to go there and see where she used to live. Probably very different. She lived there when she was about five or six, so can't really remember it. Oh, people quite often ask about luggage storage at the Jewel, so there you go, three hours. Just make your way to the Jewel and there's a luggage storage place, six dollars for three hours.
Yeah. Chinatown, we're in Hawker Centre. What do you buy to eat? It's tricky. I can feel the heat from that, from here. I'm sweating from here on it. Do you want to, do you want to pass Tim's over? Throw it up. Climb it. Is that heat underneath? Yeah. I'll show you what we had for, tea, for lunch. Uh, five chicken noodles. Buns. Spicy chicken. Got our tickets for the dome, the flower dome and the cloud forest. This is where you queue up and get them. 
It's a joint ticket for both of them, $33 per person, 33 Singapore dollars. And then you go back down the escalators and that's where you get on. Um, you can book them online actually, it's about the same price, it's not much different. And then I think you just skip queuing up up here, although it only took a couple of minutes. So if you're not certain, just don't pre-book them. I don't think your book's for a specific time, it's just for today's date. And then the queue to get in is down here, but that doesn't look very big. Finally, a signpost to the lost world. It's what everybody needs. We nearly missed that. This is the Flower Dome. We've just done the Clown Forest. And tickets paid for both. Uh, they're right next to each other, actually. So, and there's plenty of signposts to show you where to go. But we nearly forgot to come in this one.